We'll guide you through how to make a video with pictures and music. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. To go and do this, we can actually go and use a tool called CapCut. Now CapCut is a video editing software, both available as an app and as a web app. So if you want to use it in your browser, all you need to do is go and open it up. You can go straight to CapCut.com or just search for it. And then, as you can see, it's available as a download or online. So I'll click on edit video online. And then what you can do is go and sign in or go and sign up. Once you've signed in or signed up, you'll be taken to this page here. And now what we need to do is go and upload our pictures. So what I'm going to do is go and open up my file explorer and then go into my pictures here and here are mine. So I've only got four, you may have more or less. And then what you want to do is select them all by dragging over them and then drag them into the upload section on the left here and here they are. Now let's go and add them to our timeline. To do that, you just simply click on it and it'll then be added. I'll then click on this one and it'll be added. And if you want to go and add it in a different place, just go and put the cursor where you want to add it and it'll then go there. For example, I want this one here. And let's say you want a photo in between these two here. I'll place the cursor and then select the photo and it's now been put in. And so as you can see, we've now added them all. And the next thing I like to do is go and add some animations. So to go and do that, simply go and select one of the photos and then you can come over and go and click on animate. And I like to go and do a combo. And then we've got all these different options here. So you can go and browse through them. In this case, I'll select train four, for example. And then as you can see, that is how it's going to go and look. And then what you can do is start to go and add them to for the next one. And I'll select combo again. And this time we'll have a zoom just like this. And then you can do it for the next one. So you get the idea, you can work through these and start adding different animations uh, to each photo. And by the way, the quality may look low, but once we go and export it and download it, it will be fine. It's just because we're using it online. So once you've gone and added the different transitions you may want to go and use and things like that, now it's time to add some music. So come over to the left and click on audio. And we've got all these different choices down here. And you've also got different categories as well. And so what you can do is hover over the track and click on the play pause button and you can then go and preview it. And if you decide to use it, then all you need to do is click and drag it in just like so. And there it is. You can now go and have it. And now what I like to do is make sure the music ends when the photos end. So let me go and place my cursor. And then when I hover over it, as you can see, we get the option for split. I can click on it like so, and we've now split it. And then what you can do is select the bit of music you don't want. And you can then go over to the left and click on delete. And that's it. And so once you're happy with it and you want to go and save it to your computer, head to the top right, go and click on export and then you can press on download at the bottom. You can also just go and post it straight to a social media. I'll press on download though. You can name it, so I'll name this slides and you can then choose the resolution. I like 1080p uh, and then you can choose the quality. I just have recommended and then you can choose the frame rate. I'll have mine at 30 though and then press export and the process will begin. It now says exported and we've got the download button. So let me go and click here and wait for it to finish. It's now finished downloading and what we can do is view it in our browser downloads, but you can also view it in your file explorer in your downloads folder. And here it is, as you can see, it's much higher quality than it was on CapCut because CapCut was online, it just sort of reduces quality.